Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome back to Scum PV Survival. I'm in the north part of the town here. Trucks down there at the gas station. I've looted through this town about three times now. <laughs> I've got so much stuff. I finally found a car battery. It's only got six out of 100 in it. I'm hoping that'll be enough to get the truck started. Uh, I've got tons of stuff I found. And I've got a chest over on the south edge of town with even more stuff in it. But we're going to head back towards the south edge of town. And I'll probably check garages on the way there. Just on the off chance that there'd be a battery. Can't remember now where I found battery. Pretty sure it was in a... Uh... Actually, I think it was in that building back there I just left. Now that I think about it. It's been a few days since I recorded, so... It all starts kind of running together. Oh boy. He's a tough one. why I'm even looking here. I don't really need anything. We've got plenty on the calorie balance. We're a little low on D and K. That has a tiny little bit of K, so yeah, we'll eat them. So there's a bunch of garages there by the police station. Just gonna roll back through the town real quick. It's a might be about noon. I've I've burned up a lot of time just going through this town. The goal today, in this episode, is to get the truck going again. Because that's going to be our key to looping around the map, checking things out. These are all empty. Been through the police station twice. Didn't find much. Some bullets here and there. Not really as much as you would think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything in these containers. The battery I found was sitting out on a shelf in that industrial building. Yeah, advanced lockpick though. We'll take that. Those are always good. You know, that's a nice knife. What do I have for a knife? Got one that's... Oh, it's a little more than that one actually. We're good. We'll stick with it. I don't think I'm going to bother with the police station again. Most like cheating after you've been there so many times in the same place. I think that was just a general prowl down there. We are back to 100% health, but you can see there my head injury is still pretty decently orange. Seems like it's taken a while to heal up. A little bit of stuttering there. 
Uh, you all shouldn't notice any difference, but I finally upgraded to a 1440p monitor. And this game looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm running it on uh, Epic Settings 200% uh, resolution scale, 1440p. I don't have my good cable yet, so I can't run it more than 60 hertz. I've got that. It's still on order. I've got just a, kind of a bog standard HDMI cable. So I don't know if you'll notice any quality difference in the recording because I can only record at 1080p. That's all my capture card does. So I have to downscale it. So I dumped all this extra crap in there. I did find like a car repair kit, stuff like that. Gas can. But I want to take my rifle back. I'll throw the sledgehammer in there. Because we're going to need this rifle to take out the uh, explodey. <laughs> the explodey zombies down there. To dump some of this heavier stuff. I made myself an improvised scope. I found enough stuff for that. Don't know that that will go on the M1 without a rail. I don't know how that works. Yeah, it might need a rail. I wonder if I should craft a rail. Where are my bullets? Here we are. 30 out 6. Is all the 30 out 6 I had? I thought I had more than that. Crafted up a bunch of 9 mil. I have to make a new spear eventually. That's why I picked up this cord there. Seven of the tracer rounds. I guess I used more than I thought. I thought I had another stack somewhere. I don't see it unless I'm just blind. She can't stack in a container. Kind of strange. Anyway, I had so much stuff I had to drop a crate there. So I'm going to run back down to the truck. And we'll pick up from there. So I'm looking around for the uh, beepers. Like there's one there. I think that might be one way back there too. And there are there are a lot of puppets. I would kinda like to get up on top of that station again. Because without a scope, it's gonna be hard to pick them off from a distance. Blank around a bit. And make sure my pistol's ready to go. Yep. Then I have yeah, two more loaded mags ready to go. Excellent. And there are a lot of puppets. And a few hitches here and there. So we load in a new area. If I could sneak up, I could climb up on top of the station. 
then that makes it a lot easier to deal with all the puppets. I don't see where that beeper that was on the backside went, though. That's not him. There he is, right there. Oh boy. Well, we're not going to be able to sneak up there. Really wish I had a suppressor. <laughs> I could try to pick him off from back here. If I miss, uh, chaos is going to ensue. Back off. That's a chicken. I guess I was far enough away they couldn't pick up where I was at. That's good. Uh, the other beeper is on the other side. At least he was. Is that him over there? No, I don't think so. It's hard to tell. Did I pick up Binox? Some binoculars would be handy. Do this. Let me put you on a quick access. I think I can look through this. Oh, crap. Why zoom? Can I zoom? Maybe I can't zoom. Not the best scope. There he is. He's over there. Hold left. Not good. Got him. I think that's the only two beepers. get up there close enough to get on the building. It's going to be iffy. If I can get on top of this building. Now they can jump. They usually don't jump very high. There's a bunch of them there. It's not good. Might be able to get on top of this white building. I have to make a run for it and hope I can jump up on time. Once they spot me, I'm going to have to go for it. Unless I can actually get up here. My stealth skill is pretty high. Wow, 
Oh, I'm missing a lot. Just hold on. Okay, I'm terrible with the pistol. Ah, uh, stovepipe. Man, I'm pulling off so much somehow. Holy crap, that was terrible. That was shameful. <laughs> oh boy. Wish you would put the mags down here. Okay. Get those loaded up. That should be everybody. See anybody in there? All right. Charge battery. Really hope this is enough to start. It took so long. Should already be full. It took so long to find that battery. It was hours and hours of sneaking through the town. Should be full. Yep. All right. Time to start up, truck. Come on. Come on. All right, drive. You got to get this battery charged up. Woo! Made it. This truck sounds good. <laughs> I like it. So I want to get my stuff, but you can't get out of the truck without turning it off, as far as I know. So I'm going to have to drive around a bit just to get the battery charged up. I've got that repair kit. We can get the truck fixed the rest of the way, or at least most of the rest of the way. I don't know if the speed or motor RPM is taken into account to charge the battery. Wouldn't surprise me as much as they simulate. But I'm gonna just drive back and forth for a bit and I'll pick back up when we're getting the stuff here from the crate by the tree. All right, we should have enough battery charge to get this thing restarted, no problem. We have some puppets fairly close. Make it to where I have both of these. Oh, you kidding me? I don't know if a zero battery is any good. I need the paper. So I'm just going to start chucking stuff in here. I have got to get organized. I kind of want to make a rail and see if I can get this scope on here. It'd be maybe better than nothing. Transfer it over. Okay. 
Let me get where I can see the puppets. I don't know if this makes enough noise to track them, but there are a lot of puppets over there. Look at that. Truck is fixed. Excellent. Alright, I'm going to get all this stuff moved over. I'll be back once again. Can't pick this up for some reason. I don't know what, what the deal is there. Yeah, that way I could pick it up and put it in the truck. Wonder if the truck was closer. Is this gonna alert the puppets? Doesn't seem to have alerted them. So can I pop that in there? There we go. Might as well take that with me. Alright, let's hit the road. So I want to go through the town? Back the other way. Splat. It's very satisfying running them over. This road? Yeah, and then we'll take a left where the other paved road has north. Yeah, there's a lot of puppets back there. It was pretty fun going through the town. You see, I got my fame points up a bit, killing some puppets. And I might have to turn the graphics down just to get rid of some of the uh, load stutter. It runs fine until you move to another area. When it starts loading the assets, it can chug a little bit. Keeping an eye out for hunting stands. Here we go. Here's the road I want to take to the north. I would like to find an actual scope. Come on. Gotta get that driving skill up. Oh, don't lag out on me now. Sometimes these have decent loot. I'm actually going to check this real quick. What is that over there? Oh, it's a flare. <laughs> and we'll take it. I think you can distract mechs and stuff with those. Maybe puppets too. I'm still kind of looking for a place call home. I think I want to fortify an existing structure.
Gotta be a hunting stance around here, right? All these big open fields and tree lines. Don't see any though. Let's take a quick look at the map. So there's the town we're looking at. I wonder if there's something along the road here somewhere. I like to be by water though. Yeah, let's head on up. Let's just keep heading north. We'll see what we find. I would love to blow one of these up. Oh crap. going on with you? Can't really tell. Wasn't that stuck bullet? There we go. That looks like it did something. Got it. Apparently it takes more than a mag full of 9 mil to put one of those flying bots down. Let me pop that bullet out over there somewhere. We're into the, the crafted ammo now. Not sure how well that's going to perform. Anyway, like I was saying, let's head on north and we'll see what we can see. It's good to have the truck back. It's so much more mobility. And I want to take a left through this town. Oh yeah, I remember this area. I did some testing around this little village. Zagore? Something like that. And it says, rude. <laughs> Got him. There's a little farm right north of here. That might be a good place to call home, actually. got some storms moving in. There is actually a hunting stand right over here. Check that. Come on, scope. Yeah, it's getting a little hazy. Wind's picking up. Clouds are moving in. I think we're in for a rainstorm. Cat for me, hunting stand. Anything good? Some gloves? Eh, a few bullets. I don't really need those gloves. I'll take the wire cutters. I'm not sure I have those. It's good for cutting up battery cables into wire. Now, when I do put down a base, I'm going to want to make... Uh oh, got a ring coat on. I'm gonna want to make a flag. Can I use dirty rags for this? I can. All right, good. I think the flag will keep puppets from spawning, but I could be wrong on that. If you're a scum expert, let me know. So let's go over to this little farm. I think I might call this home, at least for now. See how many puppets are around. There's a couple, at least. Three. 
Get this one. Don't stall out now. No, don't stall. No! Thank you for lining up like that. It sure makes it a lot easier. Yeah, so we got a house, a couple uh, outbuildings. And we have a well. I like it. I got them all. Alright, I need a bunch of rags, and then I forget what else I need to make a flag. I know I need like 10 rags, though. So, I think that's all the puppets. Let's go get some rags off these guys. Gals. Oh boy, yep. Here it comes! enough rags just off these two. I'm curious if you can use soap and clean these dirty rags. Ooh, it is coming down. I don't know if the twitch compression lets you see the rain, but it's really coming down. Get inside here. Yeah, I've got one inside. Ow. Uh, clean rag. He just barely got us, luckily. My timing was just a little bit off. Alright, that's all the dudes inside. Brought me nails. Alright, what do we need for a flag? I want to make a red flag. Should I do a green flag? Uh, two nails. Oh, we need a bunch of scrap metal too. Alright. Where's her flag going to be? Can I put it in the bedroom? Ooh, can you not put it in an existing structure? Okay, it looks like maybe not. We can put it back here. Alright, so we need another nail. Possibly bolts. I don't know if that'll work. Getting soaked. There we go. Uh, I just need one more scrap metal and a toolbox. Well, we can get Scrap metal. Did I get everything off of here? Yep. Scrap metal should be easy to find. There we go. So that flag will pretty much encircle this whole farm. That's cool. See if there's a toolbox in here. If there's not, we've got one in the truck. 
Yeah, man. Do the... Okay, fine. But in here? Nope. We need scrap metal for uh, crafting. Blow through here real quick. That's everything. I'm not 100% sure, but I, th I thought placing the flag would keep the puppets from spawning. There we go. Now, since this is single player, I don't need to fortify the house, but I probably will just for fun and immersion. start putting down some stuff here. I might pick that up. I'm going to get some storage made. We can start calling this home. Got some sweatpants. Nice. <laughs> it's all about the stretchy pants. You got in the kitchen anything? Sodi. Pretty much it. Alright, well I think I'll wrap this episode up. It's kind of dark and rainy. But I'm going to start settling in here and next episode we'll either be working on the base or we might be heading further north. The ultimate plan next at least couple, three episodes probably is to work our way up towards the big city up here. And then start exploring that, looting that. This will be a good base of operations for most of the map. We're kind of central. Dead center would be here, but yeah, I like it. A little farm here. Hopefully the flag will keep the puppets from spawning, but if they do spawn, we'll just have to be careful. Fight them off. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for hanging out as always, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.